born in Meerut and uh, early years of education of course happened in Dehradun because my father was in irrigation department and it was a transferable job and uh, after his retirement in 1970 we came back to Meerut and uh, I did my MSc from Meerut College before joining State Bank of India as probationary officer. My early childhood was a bit tough because during the childhood uh, I had kidney problems. But when my father was transferred to Dehradun and under the treatment of uh, one of the doctors at the civil hospital in Dehradun, he was able to cure me. And that is when I started my studies at a late age of six years. Uh, but because I was studying in home and my brother and uh, sister, they were giving me tutorials. So I was able to make up and did not lose many years and was able to study without further loss of time. So our uh, family was of course, uh, uh, my mother was very religious and uh, father and mother both were very strict disciplinarians. So early to bed, early to rise, that was our uh, motto. We were never allowed to sleep late. Family had limited means, but uh, my father ensured that uh, there was no uh, financial constraint as well as the education of uh, children is concerned. And uh, we are five brothers and sisters, two brothers and three sisters. I am the youngest one in the family. So to that extent, because one, I was not keeping well in the childhood and also the youngest. So that way I got a lot of affection from my uh, family. And uh, even as far as uh, scolding from the parents is concerned, I was spared the uh, rod uh, because of these two factors. I was good in studies, uh, there is no doubt about uh, it. And uh, coming to the bank is of course, uh, it was just a matter of chance. In those days, uh, everyone, and like everyone else, I also appeared in various competitive examinations. This was considered to be one of the best. First choice was always to be an uh, IES, and the State Bank Probationary Officers was also considered to be a, a very uh, coveted uh, uh, job. And uh, and that's how my journey started with the State Bank of India. Because uh, in 1980, uh, there were uh, a few job options. One was to become an engineer or a chartered accountant or a doctor. These three and then uh, all students. Uh, we used to appear in the various competitive examinations, including uh, for Army and uh, for IAS, for Provincial Civil Services, for the Bank Officer. So I wrote a couple of examinations and uh, final success came with the State Bank of India. And in, in those times it was not that uh, as much about that whether you want to be a banker or you want to be an administrator or you want to be an engineer. It all depended upon the family circumstances and the uh, selection processes for various courses, whether it is medical, engineering, uh, administrative service, bank clerk, bank PO, excise uh, inspector, there are a whole host of uh, options, but mostly around the government service. And uh, uh, the, as I said that because uh, I was from the science background, the, uh, the, it was easier for the people from science background to succeed in the bank's probationary officer examination and uh, even today that is the situation we get a lot of uh, engineers in our bank because uh, they are able to uh, write the exam very successfully and that's how it was uh, just i would call it a matter of chance that uh, i came to state bank of india i had cleared three more exams of probationary officers but obviously state bank of india was the best choice and that is how it all happened So the bank has a very structured system of training of probationary officers and it is a two-year training program and bank tries to ensure that uh, during the probation period the probationers get experience of rural and semi-urban centers 
and as well as one or two urban centers. There is a mix and uh, mix of the programs also which a probationer in the bank is to attend and including uh, two training uh, courses, one at our Apex Training Institute. At that time when I joined the bank, there was only one in Hyderabad, very beautiful campus. And then uh, the uh, other two uh, programs are held at the training centers. But uh, my first branch was, uh, of course, Oraya in Itawa district. And uh, it is about uh, 250, 300 kilometers away from Meerut, but the option to go was only by uh, train at that time. And uh, it was a small town of 20,000 people. Itawa district, uh, even today, from law and order perspective, not one of the best places to live in. And uh, I didn't know where Oraya is. I went to a local branch of State Bank of India and uh, found out that uh, how to go and reach Oraya. There was no communication system. And uh, my first day was that I picked up one hold all, uh, which is now antiquity. Nobody carries hold all nowadays. And a VIP suitcase, that's all. And then uh, without even knowing where will I stay, and uh, in the absence of any uh, facility to communicate or uh, any facility for telephones were there, but the trunk call was impossible to get. So without knowing anything and just boarded the train, Sangam Express, and landed in uh, Oraya, uh, went to the branch, changed in the guard room. And of course, by the evening, the staff were so nice that they arranged uh, a uh, one bedroom accommodation for me but the people are very nice and uh, uh, both his staff as well as the general public and uh, uh, SBIPO of course uh, that was considered to be a very coveted job so most of the people in the town would know that a new professional has uh, joined and uh, it was a about a six months stay before I was transferred to Rampur and uh, in the beginning, uh, I didn't know anything about banking, not even writing properly the transactions, which was the first job which we were given. And uh, as per the uh, schedule of the training, the probationers are rotated on various uh, counters, which are otherwise managed by clerical staff. But that is how the learning happens during the probation period before uh, other important positions uh, are given. One is that anyone who joins as a probationer, so they always have a silent ambition that they will rise to the top. It's a different matter that it doesn't happen. But other than, of course, the first position in the bank, which is of the chairman, but uh, the ambition of a probationer would be that they will rise in the high. Now, not everybody is uh, successful. We had a batch of 500 people. All India, it is an uh, all India cadre, probationary officers. But uh, people retired from the bank after putting in 30, I would say 33 to about 38 years of service at different grades. And uh, let me admit that uh, because everybody is coming through the same selection process. So in terms of the capability and the intelligence also, more or less everybody is placed at the same level, equally competitive. But as the journey begins, depending upon the opportunities which comes one's way, the bosses you get who train you in the early years, plus your own attitude towards work and life. So that makes the difference and apart from everything else, it is the destiny also which plays a major role. But uh, the main thing apart from the Intelligence, which I said that uh, I think everybody who joins as professor, they have same level of intelligence, but it is ultimately the attitude towards the work uh, that matters. And uh, that is where I feel that I always had a positive attitude towards whatever assignment was given. And the approach which I adopted was solution oriented approach. If uh, something cannot be done, then it is a different matter. And uh, 
otherwise uh, i did not have any godfather in the bank no one in our family at least in the near relations was working in the bank some distant cousins they were working in the bank but uh, over a period of time uh, i would say that uh, all the mentors in the early career and uh, your own my own hard work and plus uh, the attitude Uh, towards work that is what saw me through and then as i said destiny there were many policy changes if those policy changes had not happened i would have not become chairman so these are all the ground realities but the bank the state bank of india i believe it is very merit based organization and it does not discriminate in any manner on the basis of your caste your creed your Uh, upbringing uh, it is a very very uh, merit based uh, organization where everyone has an equal opportunity and uh, then you have to be at the right place at the right time also one that i have enjoyed every place and every posting in the bank and uh, interesting posting of course i had the opportunity to work in the remotest of the places like or i in itawa district mauranipur which is in the bundelkhand region of uttar pradesh then rani khet uh, which is a very beautiful hill station and uh, of course overseas postings at toronto and london so the range it is unthinkable unimaginable i think only state bank of india is an organization where one gets a chance to work at so many places and uh, uh, i enjoyed every uh, posting and uh, uh, even northeast uh, which is like uh, at one point of time there was a lot of negativity around posting in uh, northeast but thoroughly enjoyable such a uh, beautiful place so each and every place i found very interesting and uh, uh, oriya of course or places like mauranipur or pratapgarh district they also Uh, left a deep impression that uh, the uh, even after independence and i'm talking about 80s not after 91 when our country has progressed quite a lot uh, there was a, like uh, the poverty was all visible everywhere under development and country had uh, already uh, uh, almost uh, uh, 40 years of Uh, independence so this was uh, very disheartening at times but uh, all experiences in the early years they help in shaping the institute and that is what the bank training program is about that uh, the people who join the bank as probationary officers they would they should have an idea about what the life is like in the uh, rural areas or backward areas and as i said that because bank has a very good international presence so suddenly when uh, from india say for example in 96 i got posted to toronto so that was a different world altogether and uh, in 96 also india was not as developed today uh, the difference may not be as much uh, particularly of the uh, bigger cities uh, but uh, uh, the Uh, there are many many places even now in the country which are not as developed or very remote where the state bank of india has presence across the country so it is a very unique uh, experience in terms of opportunity to work in different geographies nationally and internationally and uh, in terms of assignments also there is a huge huge uh, diversity so it is diversity in place diversity in assignment and uh, i doubt many organizations um, have that kind of uh, presence and gives that kind of opportunity which is state bank of india gave to me that was uh, in about uh, even after two or three months of my joining at uh, oriya and uh, itawa eta manpuri these are all uh, adjacent to uh, chambal uh, chambal ravines are famous for uh, bagis and uh, uh, there there is a caste rivalry also and it so happened uh, i don't exactly remember the date that uh, 
within a few months of my joining at Oraya and uh, there was an incident at uh, Bahmai where Fulan Devi to take revenge of her humiliation uh, reportedly and she uh, killed uh, uh, 12 Thakurs uh, and uh, that was a big uh, news, big event and the entire town of Oraya there was a lot of hush hush uh, sort of uh, people were talking in hushed tones what has happened a fear or an atmosphere of fear and for a person who was new to the town so uh, naturally when the news came parents were worried so it was a very different uh, sort of uh, atmosphere and uh, Ultimately, Fulan Devi became the member of parliament. Uh, Shekhar Kapoor made a film, Bad Night Queen, on her life. But uh, at least I can say that uh, when that incident happened, I was uh, I happened to be posted in that particular area at the beginning of my uh, career. There is always a lot of uncertainty because uh, there is a selection process. But interestingly, in 2013, uh, when I uh, was chief general manager and I got uh, posted to Mumbai as chief general project finance, so my boss he told me you have a five percent chance of becoming chairman. He had some calculations, and uh, so 2013 uh, uh, the probability was five percent, and that it got converted into hundred percent, and when the process for appointment was held in 2017 we were four uh, managing directors who were called for the interview this was also a change in the policy that in 2013 only government decided that only the managing directors will be called for appointment as chairman prior to that even deputy managing directors were being called and government also decided that irrespective of the age it will be a 3 year assignment fixed term and uh, in 2017 uh, i had only 3 months left before i would have retired in on 14 on 31st january 2018 and through this selection process which was held by banking board bureau and it so happened that uh, they picked me up and uh, just three months before retirement on 6th, uh, 7th october 2017 i took charge as uh, chairman of the bank so it it can never be uh, 100% so even 2017 it was one out of four so 25% chance but as the luck would have it so it got converted into a 100% chance and uh, Uh, with all humiliation uh, i can say that uh, the competition for the chairman's position is very tough because the managing directors if they have come to that level through such an adverse process filtering at all levels so again they all are equally competent and it is just on a particular day that maybe in interview perform better than others and then get selected it was a matter of uh, as i said uh, it was a matter of great honor for everyone and uh, obviously everybody was very happy and excited and uh, but the uh, circumstances in which i took over the position so these 3 uh, years uh, they have been very challenging times for the banking industry even when i took over at that time bank was uh, facing various challenges uh, on the asset quality front the competition from the private sector the technological uh, which was moving at a very fast pace the changes were taking it about it. the bank's profits were under pressure so lot was going on and uh, so i took at a time when the Uh, circumstances were not so easy and when i left also the circumstances were not so easy and the one unknown factor which came in at the end was covid-19 so nobody had anticipated that uh, covid-19 and uh, uh, 
this three years uh, as chairman have been very, I would say, very eventful years. But with God's grace, uh, bank has done well and is in a much stronger position today. And uh, the action plan, of course, uh, like uh, some people observe that as if uh, I had this inkling that I will become the chairman and the action is started from day one itself. And it is a series of actions uh, which were uh, initiated. And uh, But I have I've always maintained that in an organization like a State Bank of India where the tenure of a CEO is three or four years at best. So in such a situation, everyone does his or her bit and that is how this organization keeps on going. So one is about the work ethics. Uh, in, in fact, in my first communication to the, all the staff members, uh, I was very clear that in terms of the value system of the bank, uh, ethics has to be uh, has to receive the top priority and particularly for the banking profession it is very important that uh, integrity is of the uh, receives top priority for any anyone at whatever level people are working and this is the first lesson which I learned in my probation and uh, uh, the, the some of the friends or at that time who were my peers they used to tell that in the bank Committing even a 10 rupee fraud is a big crime. If you don't work, it doesn't matter. Nobody throws you out of the bank for not working. So this is the first, one of the first lessons. And that is where I believe that uh, personal integrity as well as ethics, they are very important. And that is where when I re-articulated the value system for the bank, uh, the ethics uh, received a very prominent place in our value system and uh, the about the decision making so that gives you a lot of strength if your personal integrity uh, is strong and people know that your decisions would not be guided by any considerations but it's still it's a very risky business banking is a very risky business but I have always believed that uh, taking decisions is risky but in decision, the cost is huge. But we have all types of people. Some believe that uh, better not to take decisions and not take the risk. But uh, I have never hesitated in taking decisions. And uh, I know that when such decisions are taken, there is a tendent risk. But the very fact that a uh, lot of uh, moral courage and distance comes from inside, that has always been the guiding factor and the belief that whatever decisions uh, I had to take, they were in the best interest of the organization. And uh, it's a matter of uh, conviction, your own conviction. And uh, I think in the process, that is what people started believing that uh, here is one person who will not hesitate to take the decision. And uh, maybe people started then putting that tag of decisive banker on you. You learn every day. And uh, wherever, uh, whether you're in a state bank or anywhere or in whatever role, life teaches so much. And uh, of course, I was not a bond banker. It was just a matter of chance came to State Bank of India. But the learning, I would say from the childhood until date, one of the biggest learning is that honesty pays. That is what we were taught in the childhood. And that is what is the lesson throughout, uh, as I was talking about the decision making. That was also guided by this fact only that honesty will eventually pay. And uh, second is positive attitude towards life. I have always followed the principle that whenever I am taking any task, so I evaluate whether it is doable or not doable, but I don't waste my energy on things which are not in my control or cannot be done. I try to do or try to get done only those things which can be done. But ultimately, if 
people can be very intelligent very hard working but if they don't have the right attitude then they don't succeed so right attitude plays a very critical role in success of uh, anyone and most of the examples you will find that the people who succeed they have a uh, positive attitude towards work and the approach is also solution uh, oriented Uh, the future of the banking, for that matter, the future of the uh, economy or whatever is happening, it is all now technology driven and this is a fact of life. Any organization which does not have a, a strategy which gives due recognition to the role of the technology in their function, it will be very difficult for them to survive. The State Bank of India is a legacy bank, large bank, but still, it has invested heavily in the technology platforms. Uh, you know, which is its uh, the main program now uh, around which the uh, digital banking or the digital adoption is happening. So, uh, bank has invested heavily uh, both in terms of the financial resources as well as the management resources. So we are moving towards where uh, the banking will be what is called faceless banking. So everything can be done uh, remotely. So we are moving to that way. The decision making is all happening based on the data analytics and data analytics what is called the big data. So today uh, in terms of lending, end-to-end -end digitization processes are taking over and bank is able to give uh, money even without uh, meeting the borrower. This has been possible because the advanced analytics has been put in place. So the future of the banking is very exciting and any bank or any organization which does not have a very clear strategy then their survival would become very difficult for the young probationers there's a huge difference now when they joined the state bank of india and then i joined the state bank of india in 1980 and uh, the opportunities the kind of work the the expansion in the scope of activities there is a huge change uh, in 1980 it was just deposit taking and lending and everything was manual today you have investment banking opportunity in international banking and uh, uh, there are a whole host of uh, opportunities plus technology is uh, making it very exciting so that way uh, i would say that uh, earlier the banking was considered to be a dull job but not anymore. So there's a lot of excitement uh, around and uh, the young probationers, as I said again, that uh, if, uh, and the advantage is that anyone who is joining the bank today, they all are tax savvy. That is one plus point. And uh, it can be a very good career and an exciting career. As you know, Mr. Kumar, very positive thinking. Wale hain. वो हमेशा जो चीज आती है उसको as it is लेके और उसको अच्छा करते हैं कि जो है वो सबसे अच्छा है इसलिए हम लोगों का हमेशा बहुत ही अच्छा टाइम गुजरा है एक्चुअली मिस्टर कुमार जब भी बाहर जाते थे तब अगर सेम डे लौटना है तब तो वो रात में ही आ जाते थे और कहीं लंबा टाइम होता था तो वो हमेशा मेरे को साथ लेके जाते थे जिससे कि तुम अकेले घर पे नहीं रहो that is better. और फिर ना जब इनका ज़्यादा important period आया, तो फिर बच्चों की शादी हो गई थी, और I was with him all the time. हमेशा ऐसा लगा कि हम अपने husband के ही साथ बात कर रहे हैं, क्योंकि वो कहते थे कि जब family time है, तो family के साथ में हैं, और जब हम office में हैं, तब हमारा different role है. केवल हमारे ही साथ नहीं, घर में जो भी आता था, उसको हमेशा बहुत ही comfortable feel करना, हर से बात करना, हर को time देना, ये इनकी बहुत बड़ी quality थी, कि इतना busy होने के बाद भी, हमेशा सबको entertain करते थे, घर पे आते थे, हमेशा हसते हुए. मेरे को लगता है ना घर जब हम कुछ काम नहीं कर रहे थे घर से बाहर जाके तो हमें लगता था घर को देखना हमारी सबसे बड़ी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है तो हम हमेशा चाहते थे कि अगर मान लीजिए यहाँ पे तो संडे ऑफ ही होता है सैटरडे नहीं होता है 
लेकिन हम में लगता था कि सैटरडे तक सारा काम फिनिश कर लें जिससे कि संडे हम लोग टुगेदर स्पेंड करेंगे और उनका है हम लोग साथ में स्क्रैबल भी खेलते हैं चेस भी खेलते हैं और हम लोगों का डे हमेशा टीटी से स्टार्ट होता है वी प्ले थ्री गेम्स ऑफ टीटी देन वी स्टार्ट आवर डे और वॉक पे भी जाते हैं तो बैलेंस uh, है घर भी हम आराम से देख लेते थे क्योंकि इतना कुछ ज़्यादा काम नहीं होता था लेकिन मैनेज हो जाता था जब हम लोग की मैरिज हुई ना तो हम लोग के एक दोस्त थे निखिल तो वो हम लोगों के पास बहुत विजिट करते थे तो जब वो आते थे तो हमें लगता था आज तो रजनीश जरूर छुट्टी लेंगे हम लोग कहते थे आज छुट्टी ले लो छुट्टी ले लो लेकिन उनको कहते थे हाँ आज मैं ऑफिस नहीं जाऊँगा जब ऑफिस का टाइम होता था हम देखते थे तैयार हुए ही इज़ रेडी टू मूव तो वो एक बहुत बड़ी चीज़ थी इनका डेडिकेशन फॉर द वर्क और वो उनका दोस्त हमेशा कहते था कि तुम नहीं जाओगे ना तो तुम्हारे नाम की ईट लगी हुई है ऑफिस में और नहीं जाने से वो ईट गिर जाएगी इसलिए तुम्हारा जाना ज़रूरी है ना लेकिन हमें लगता है कि वही डेडिकेशन आज इनको इस मुकाम पर लेके आया एक्चुअली ना मिस्टर कुमार का विज़न काफ़ी था एक बार क्या हुआ हम लोगों का इंस्पेक्शन डिपार्टमेंट में हम लोगों का पोस्टिंग हो गया अब उस समय बच्चे बहुत छोटे थे तो सात साल के बच्चे थे तो सात और छः साल के तो फिर हम लोगों को लगा कि अब कैसे उस पर इंस्पेक्शन पे जाएंगे लेकिन इन्होंने जाने से पहले सारा कुछ अरेंज कर लिया कि यहाँ पे हम लोग घर एक और ले लेंगे तुम बच्चों के साथ यहीं रहना और हम हर वीकेंड पे आते रहेंगे तो कभी भी परेशानी नहीं हुई लेकिन लकीली वो पोस्टिंग चेंज हो गई और हम लोगों को बढ़िया पोस्टिंग टोरंटो के लिए मिल गई तो वी वर सो हैप्पी एंड लकी हमेशा पोस्टिंग भी अच्छी मिली लेकिन समटाइम्स हम लोग देखते थे कि कोई भी पोस्टिंग होती है लोग बहुत परेशान होते हैं लेकिन हम लोगों ने हर पोस्टिंग को एज ए चैलेंज लिया और उसको इंजॉय किया जहाँ भी मिस्टर कुमार गए वहाँ पे एक अपनी छाप छोड़ी इन्होंने मिस्टर कुमार पेपर्स का तो डिस्पोजल एक मिनट में करते ही हैं उसी के साथ लोगों का भी डिस्पोजल फ़ौरन कर देते हैं क्योंकि ना ये जरा भी बहुत से लोगों की आदत होती काफ़ी बातें करते हैं फिर उसके बाद काम करते हैं लेकिन इनका काम आया और बस ख़त्म तो ये इनकी फेयरवेल में भी बोला गया कि जैसे वो पेपर का डिस्पोजल करते हैं ऐसे ही आदमी का भी